Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to Kit Conspiracy. It's a new series I'm doing with MK over on her channel. Her link is down below for you. We have chosen to kit up a uh, the same papers each week and use those papers for our layouts that week. This week we are using sketches as our inspiration along with Vicki Booten Color Study and a little bit of Cocoa Vanilla. So I am starting out with the two pages that are essentially black. They do have other colors on them, but um, they're essentially black because I knew I wanted to do a double page layout. And you saw the inspiration piece there. It has kind of a big block of um, a photo with a bunch of layers underneath it. So I am kind of stretching that into a double page and I am going to do a large block in the middle of a lot of photos and um, some layers below. What I did was I took two of my um, papers that I use for matting. I put a bunch of, um, oh my goodness, adhesive on it. And then I just stuck my photos on it so that it would hold the four photos for each side in place. And I could move them around as though they were just one large photo. And um, that's super helpful because I'm not using solid papers underneath the photos to do the matting. I'm using a lot of leftovers. I do have a lot of um, pieces from my scrap bin that I'm going to be using on this layout. So I don't actually use a ton of stuff for my kit, um, which was really handy because I was able to get a lot more out of my kit than I thought I would by using um, a lot of scraps to pair up with what I had going on here. So this green strips that I have are definitely scraps. That is all I had of it pretty much um, was these two strips. Mm, actually, you know what? I'm, I take that back. I think I had a little bit more of it, but it, I didn't have a ton of it. So I am using as little as possible because I want to make it stretch throughout the week if I need any more green paper like that. So I'm really liking the way that the um, green with the yellow diagonal in it kind of plays off of the green and yellow that is in all of those photos. Um, these are really old photos from 2007, 2008, I think. And it was our Girl Scout troop. We uh, did signed up for an event called the Mystery Trip where you got clues to go to different locations throughout the day and do different activities. And this was our final stop. It's, uh, it's actually like one of those kid play spaces that have like tubes and tunnels and ball pits and all of that kind of stuff which was a lot is for much younger children than these girls but uh we had the whole place to ourselves and they spent the night there so th basically you know they got to be little kids again <laughs> this blue paper is also from my scrap bin as is the orange the blue paper is not vicky Bo Booten paper it is um i can't even remember the name of the brand um but it's definitely not Vicky Putin paper. I think the orange is a Vicky Putin piece of paper. And I actually had my scraps from Vicky Putin separated out because I still had quite a bit of uh, color study left over. So I just pulled out all of the scraps that I had and um, used those on this layout. So what I'm capturing here is just basically the girls having fun. I'm, there's a picture of them sleeping in the bottom right hand corner. They actually slept inside the tubes or uh, the netting that goes in between the tubes. And um, if you're wondering that girl on the upper right hand corner, if she looks cross-eyed, she is. She <laughs> She's not actually cross-eyed, but um, she was being goofy and making a cross-eyed look. So um, yeah, they're, they're doing all kinds of fun things, sliding down the sl slides and that kind of stuff. And um, like I said, these are old photos. These girls are all adults and uh, some of them have their own kids. And uh, actually, um, almost all of them are married. <laughs> so um, old photos, but it's really good to relive, relive those fun memories and to be able to get them in my daughter's scrapbook because these are some fun times that they had. And I know that uh, she cherish, cherishes the friendship that she has with some of these girls um, a lot of them are still friends and still talk to each other. Um, not that they're not friends with the other ones. They just, uh, you know, you lose touch with kids from, from your childhood or even your teenage years or whatever. But um, there are a few of them that are still in contact with each other and, and still um, make it a point to talk or even get together once when they're all in the same area. They don't 
actually, they don't, most of them don't live in the same town anymore. Um, I shouldn't say most of them, a couple of them. So I am using the branding strips that I pulled off of some of these papers as well. Um, just to get some added color in there. And as you can see, I'm not worried about making sure I get every color on every uh, side of, or all four sides of these, this big block of rectangles, or even um, you could consider it six sides since the two pages are spread out. But if I put something uh, kind of like on this right hand side, I'm gonna probably take that same branding strip and put it on the top of the left hand side to kind of balance it out and just give it um, the same weight on either paper because these are two sides of the page, right? Um, so I don't want like one, the right hand page to be really heavy where, where the left hand page is not. And by heavy, I, I don't mean actual physical weight, but you know, the paper, the amount of paper on it gives it that feeling of heaviness, if you will. <laughs> So lots of branding strips, but you can get a really, really layered look by just using little tiny strips of paper. Now you do have to be a little conscientious because if you add too much, then you get kind of a void behind your photos and uh, you might have to put some foam behind them. Now I didn't, I didn't uh, end up having to put any foam. I kept mine, my layers kind of spread out enough that it didn't end up with like a huge stack right on top of each other. The more spread out they are, the less you get that kind of a, a feeling where it's like a huge stack and then you have a void. So then I pulled out some Vicki Booten texture paste in this lime green and I don't use this very often. Um, I do like it, it, but it's not my favorite texture, texture paste, but I've had it for quite some time and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull it out because, you know, I'm using Vicki Booten products. Why not? And plus, you know, I'd really like to use it up and it turns out that it is a little bit on the dry side. Um, I don't know if you can tell by looking at the jar there, it, it's kind of hard to tell on screen, but it is a lot like um, a really thick paste instead of like a really buttery paste. And then um, I am pulling out these two different stencils. Uh, that one you just saw there is a tile stencil in a 12 by 12. And I'm using the blue Vicky Booten texture paste. And these are kind of older paste. They're probably, I think these might even be from the first batch that she did. And so she had a second set of texture paste in different colors that included a purple. This batch did not come with a purple in it. Um, and then I think she has a new batch coming out for her one of her newer collections or she just had a batch come out uh, one or the other because I just recently saw one online that had completely different colors in it. Um, I will put the names of these stencils in my description box down below if they are something that you are interested in. Um, I will also put the names of these sprays. These are the Dina Wakely Media Gloss Sprays and so they dry glossy and I am using lemon and the blue one I think I'm trying to remember what blue I used. I don't know if that's turquoise. I think it is turquoise actually. So um, I will put the names of those down below as well for you. And then I want to make sure that some of my layers span the distance between both pages. And so I pulled out a couple of extra branding strips and I'm going to make it, them go uh, across both pages. I thought I would use the blue one, but then I decided to pull in the one with the white polka dots because it would stand out a little bit more than the blue against the black. And so um, once I get my two big blocks of photos all uh, adhered down, I'm gonna go ahead and add those last two branding strips. Or maybe I'm adding them before I get those. Oh, you know what I'm doing is I am sticking them to the actual, um, I am, putting glue between the layers. I'm not actually putting them on the black paper there. I'm putting it between the branding strip and the layer right above it that, uh, um, so that it stays together. And then what I'll do is I'll just snip them apart once they are dry. And it doesn't take very long for them to dry and it didn't take very long for the texture paste to dry either. And that just ensures that they stay where I wanted them. Um, it's a lot easier to use the liquid glue to kind of do that than it is to do, to use the um, ATG or tape runner because once those kind of get stuck down it's a little bit harder to like 
wiggle them around to the position that you want them in. The liquid glue allows me to kind of just wiggle it around so I can have, you know, a little bit more show on one end or the other if, if needed. And so once I get all of that down, I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks so far, but I do need to work on embellishing. I did end up moving everything down just a little bit because um, the layers on one side are a little bit higher than on the other side, which is okay. Um, I don't mind that. But uh, it looked like they were too close to the top. So then I pulled out this black and white grid paper and this turquoise paper. And the black and white grid was from my stash or my... Um, my scrap bin and I did use some of that black and white grid last month during 30 days of sketches on the uh, sketch that had um, it basically had a grid in the bottom left hand corner so this is the leftover piece and then this turquoise piece is a leftover from the Vicky Booten I think it's from the paper pad I could be wrong on that but I think it's from the paper pad I added a little bit of yellow color to make that kind of pop a little bit more. And my title is just going to be Night at the Jungle. So I pulled a font that I liked um, off of my computer and just cut that on my silhouette with the outline. And I'm liking how that's looking. And then I'm just looking for some little tile stickers, um, tile alpha stickers to put Night at the, um, right above it. And my little trick here is if you cut a strip of paper, like this little white strip that I have, put some adhesive on it, and then put your little tile letters down, um, it, it makes it really easy to move your alphas or your, your words around. I'm gonna cut them apart so the white is not showing in between, but I wanted to leave a little bit of room so that I don't actually cut any of the letters. But now I have just little word stickers or for, uh, yeah, word stickers instead of little letter stickers, and it's a lot easier to find the placement where you want them and all of that good stuff. Um, I would tell you a whole lot more about those, uh, the die and the um, where I got those little alphas from, but they are discontinued and um, very difficult to find now. They are from Paper Tray Ink, um, but they are uh, not making them anymore, so... Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. So I'm just using my liquid glue to adhere all of that. And a lot of times when I know that I'm going to do some stitching, I do use my liquid glue. And because that sketch does have some stitching in it, I'm going to go ahead and do some stitching on top of um, my layout as well. And I pulled out the Vicky Booten uh, puffy thickers, I guess. And I'm just using these hearts. Now in the sketch there are hearts as well um, so I'm going to just use some hearts and layer those up how I like and I'm going to have a bigger cluster of hearts in the upper right or upper left hand corner than in the lower right because the lower right has that big word so it's got a lot of weight to it already and um, I didn't feel like I needed need to add like a lot of puffy hearts down there because it already has a lot drawing your attention in that area and I like this um, diagonal design because it draws your eye all the way across the page. A lot of times I will put three clusters across the two pages, but in this case I'm just doing the two because I've got a lot of photos on there and a lot of layering. Um, I don't usually do so much layering when I uh, do three clusters, and so the layering really kind of... Um, adds a lot to the layout, so I didn't feel like I needed three clusters. So I went to my sewing machine and I put some yellow thread in and I did a zigzag stitch and I went right across the top of the word jungle. I did two swipes. You can kind of see it right at the where the black part of my scissors or the handle of my scissors is. Um, and I stitched right across the foam or foam, the puffy stickers and everything. And I did the same thing in the upper left hand corner, right across the hearts. I didn't care that I was going right over the top of them. I kind of like the way that it looks and it's just kind of holding everything in place. And then I'm just going to pop these two little um, tabs in and call it a day. I'm almost done with this layout. Don't forget to go check out what MK is doing for today's layout. I'm really curious to see hers. Um, we didn't talk about 
um, if whether or not we were stretching things or anything. We didn't talk about what photos we were using or what anything other than the sketch and the kit of papers. And so it's going to be really, and, and of course, which day to, <laughs> to release our videos. But um, it'll be really interesting to see what each one of us have has done for day one. So really in this layout, I didn't use a lot from my kit other than the two background pieces of paper. And so that leaves me quite a bit to work with um, for the other two layouts that are uh, guaranteed for this week. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of extra layouts for this week and that's okay. So you'll have lots to watch on my channel. I did pull in a couple of other little pieces from this uh, Vicki Booten um, stickers, but these particular ones here, they were really hard to get the backing off of. And so that one I couldn't even peel apart. It's like a little washi with the backing, but I couldn't put, peel the washing off, washi off of the backing. So I just glued it on. So that is my layout for today. It doesn't need a lot of journaling because I am going to do a couple more in this series um, or in these, this documenting this event in this series this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments, as always, leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I will be back again on Tuesday with another video, if not before. Bye-bye.